Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes for Windows 11 build 26220.7070 in the dev channel and for the beta channel. It's important to know that Microsoft is now rolling out the same preview builds for version 25H2 in both channels, dev and beta. Okay, first let's have a closer look at the updated design for the dashboard. First, I wanted to point out that this is actually no part of this release, but Microsoft previously announced that the Discover page is going to have a refresh. So this is how it looks. And as you can see, it looks more like the Copilot interface that we see on the desktop and on the web. And one of the reasons is that Discover is now actually powered by Copilot. Now, what the company is announcing with this preview is that if we go to the settings, you can see that now the page has been integrated into the actual feature. It is now like a page that is overlaid on top of the dashboard. And from here, you can control all the settings. One thing you can do here is to rearrange what dashboard will open by default when opening the feature. Now, if you want to turn this cover off, you just need to turn off this option. You can also rearrange the dashboards by using this option right here. And the other settings are the same as before. For example, you can control if hovering over the widgets icon on the taskbar will open the actual dashboard. I usually like to turn this off. And from here, you can control the notifications as well. Now, another design change is that now we have the left pane to switch between the dashboards that we have with this particular feature. But another thing that you will notice is that the dashboard for widgets that you can add or remove still retains the design from the older version of the widgets dashboard. Now, on devices that have the quick machine recovery feature turned on alongside the automatic check for solution options, now the default option will be just to run the scan once by default rather than running scans in a loop. If a resolution of a prompt is now available right away, you won't be left waiting. Quick Machine Recovery will list the most appropriate recovery options. And finally, starting with this preview, Microsoft is updating the Smart App Control feature to stop requiring a complete reinstallation of the operating system to turn it on or off. For context, the Smart App Control is a security feature available from the security app that locks your computer down, allowing only trusted apps or apps with valid certificates to prevent unwanted apps from running on your computer. Now, as per usual, preview builds through the Windows Insider program inc include fixes and other changes, and you can check the link in the description to learn more details about this release. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these improvements that Microsoft is rolling out for Windows 11 version 25H2. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.